So I'm not going to waste your time. And in the next 30 seconds, I'm going to show you how to convert your D log M footage to Rec 709. And if you decide to stick around, I'm going to show you the process I use to color grade my footage. So first you're going to want to choose the file that you want to work on. And then it's going to be in D log M. We're going to have to convert it to Rec 709. I'm going to choose the color recovery method. Now it's a Rec 709. And all we need to do is set the export size, remove the watermark, and press export. Now the file will be converted and you've made yourself a standard Rec 709. You're done. Then repeat the process as needed. So now that you decided to stay, this is going to be a very casual color grading tutorial on the way that I do my footage. I'm not saying it's the best way out there. If you want a professional color grading tutorial, there's a million on YouTube. But this is just going to be what I do and the ways that it's helped me convert my footage and get it to something that I like and something that I think is usable. So a lot of people like to start off with a Rec 709. For me personally, I don't like the way that it converts. Um, so I haven't been one to really use it. I usually start off with the D-Log M footage. I'm gonna show you two different ways to do things. One of them is basically cheating and it's like magic. The second way I'm gonna tell you is a little bit more in depth and you could tailor it to your needs. I think by the end of this, you're gonna find a way that suits you and will have your own little touch. First of all, you're gonna to have to figure out how you want your footage. It could be in D-Log M, Rec 709 color recovery, or you could use the CapCut color correction. But I like to drop it down to 70%. Manual adjustments. First, you're gonna start off with D-Log M. In my case, I am gonna convert it. I'm gonna use the color correction and again, drop it down to 70%. The first thing I do is go to the graphs. In the graphs, there's gonna be highlights, midtones, and shadows. You can make adjustments there to adjust those things. And if you look at the image, you can see where things are changing. If I need to make more specific details, specifically to color, I'm gonna use the HSL. HSL is hue, saturation, and lightness. And when you make adjustments, especially to the colors, you can really tweak things and fine tune it. For me, I'm worried about the color of the sea dew, and I'm also worried about the color of the sky. I'm trying to get those two things to my liking, and I'll make adjustments as needed. After the HSL, I'm going to do fine tuning adjustments, and I'm going to use the blacks, the whites, the shadows, and the highlights. And I know that we already did this in the HSL and the graphs, but from here, I can make the little minor adjustments I need to get the color exactly how I want. At this point, we're done, and we can see what we think about it. And if you ask me, I'm pretty happy with the image. For me, I do have a laptop with Adobe Premiere Pro, but I just find that it causes me a lot of friction where I don't even want to do the work. The technology with mobile apps is just kind of crazy. I don't feel that the Mimo app alone offers enough capabilities. This isn't sponsored at all, but CapCut Pro has been pretty amazing, especially if you're someone that's on the go and you just want to edit on the fly. With the capabilities that it has, it's been the easiest workflow for me. So that's why this tutorial is in CapCut Mobile, but I'm sure there's a lot of other apps that you're able to use. And also if you prefer to work on desktop, these are the same things that apply. So now let's talk about the easiest way. And if you ask me, it's kind of like magic. First, you're gonna to wanna to start off with your image in D-Log M. And from that point, you're gonna to wanna to choose an image that you like, and you're gonna use that as a reference. You're gonna to go to Color Match. And from Color Match, what the app is gonna do is use your image for a color reference and adjust your footage. You don't have to do anything additional. It just does it all for you. You can use your favorite picture. You can use, let's say, a clip from a movie. You can use anything you want and it's going to get those colors, transfer it to your footage and it's as easy as that. I can't tell you that that's the best way to do things, but I'm not going to lie and say it's not the easiest. I mean, it is kind of like magic. I really hope that it's been helpful. I know that D-Log M footage can be very frustrating, very intimidating. There's a lot of ways to make it easy, not a lot of friction. So hopefully this has been helpful. 
and your next video has your little touches to add your style. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you.